Hi guys, in addition to the built-in automatic quick modes uh, on the Hover Air X1, it also has a manual mode which allows for freestyle flying. Now while it's perfectly possible to uh, fly it with a virtual joypad on the mobile phone, it's actually very tricky and not very comfortable. Now for a better experience, there is actually a, a Hover Air Bluetooth controller. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what it's like how to use it and whether it's worth getting or not. So I've done some experiments uh, flying the Hover Air with the mobile phone, which you can see in this video if you're interested. But to be honest, I didn't find it a particularly great experience. The virtual buttons are actually very close together. And the preview screen uh, takes up almost just half the screen, so not much space for the actual buttons. Now, they're also, they also laid out very differently from a normal DJI drone controller. So I find myself uh, con constantly looking down to check which button I should then press. Maybe with a little bit of extra practice, um, it's gonna be less frustrating. Now, it's okay for a quick shot, but anything more than that, uh, a simple move, is just not really gonna be very good. So now into the Bluetooth controller. Now, this is the Hover Zero 2 controller. Now this little guy is pretty small, and as you can see, he's got a really fetching bright color. But despite its small size, um, it has all the buttons you need to be able to control the drone much more comfortably than using the mobile phone. So let me go through the actual buttons. So we, we of course have the on-off button to power on the controller, and it's also got a rechargeable battery via USB-C, so that's uh, good. Above it is the shoot button, very handy, and of course, very essential. Then there is the crossed style on the uh, joystick, just like a sort of a Nintendo controller at the top. And that's gonna control the direction of the drone. So obviously we have fly forward away from the user, fly backwards, fly to the right, and fly to the left. At the bottom, there are actually four more buttons fly upwards, uh, descend downwards, turn to the left, and then turn to the right. Now on the side is two buttons for controlling the angle of the gimbal. So you can tilt the uh, gimbal up, and of course you can then can tilt the gimbal down. So that's pretty cool. Now these physical buttons uh, mean that unlike the mobile, you can actually press more than one button at a time. For example, you can go forward and press ascend, or fly backward, and send uh, just like the sort of the drony types of shots. I also like to fly forward and then tilt the gimbal down at the same time, which is actually possible with this controller, but it's completely impossible on the mobile phone. So that, in my mind, makes this controller worth it for that alone. However, you may notice that if I, I have to hold the control in this vertical portrait uh, manner, and that's because it needs to be held this way due to the actual button layout. Now, it would actually feel much more natural to hold it in a horizontal direction, just like a DJI drone controller, with the buttons similar to the drone with the joystick um, on the right and the ascend descend on the left-hand side. Now, that would certainly make it much less confusing to fly, as if you're used to controlling a drone, it's gonna feel much more natural. However, it does, this controller does need to be used vertically, which is a little bit of a shame and a bit of a pain in the butt, to be honest. So perhaps with practice, it's gonna become much easier. However, it is actually still uh, much easier than using the mobile phones, and you can get some pretty half decent uh, movements. Now to con connect the controller to the drone, it needs to be paired as a normal Bluetooth device so the phone is normal in the settings, and then in the hover app, click where it says a controller, and you can then choose a Bluetooth controller. Now, once I get better at it, I'm gonna post another video showing some exploits using this controller. But for now, I'm just gonna drop in some uh, shots that I took um, testing this controller out. Now, unfortunately, at the time of making this video, it appears that the controller is out of stock on AliExpress. 
which is a bit of a shame. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm lucky I've got one, but you know, before this appears. So hopefully they're going to come back soon. So I hope that's of use to someone. Um, any questions, let me know in the comments. And of course, if it's interesting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and all that stuff. Other than that, I shall see you soon on another video.